Looking forward to the Elder Ring lore archaeology videos? That will never happen, and you know that. I'm too fucking stupid for that. I, I haven't been taking my vitamins lately because I was worried that they were giving me brain fog, and then during my entire Montreal trip, I was like, I should have been taking my vitamins because I have brain fog. Now I'm back on my vitamin-pilled uh, essence-maxing arc, and I think I'm almost normal again. Oh, not from you. Oh, true. Yeah, no. I was like, me? Are you talking about me? Me doing those? Me? No way. Ain't no way, dog. I'm not doing one of those fucking, like, archaeology videos. Not doing those. Did you see, if you pick up the dung from the dung worm, you can actually see there's a three-sentence word. There's three sentences from the dung worms that you can learn about. Uh, dung lore. Uh, El Dung Ring. Holy shit. You can get some fucking fat dung lore from the dung ring. Oh, shit. Goddamn roaches. One sec, the roaches are hitting me again. Fuck, I left off of the roaches and we're back right into the roach hole. The bugs are back, the bugs are back. Oh boy, oh boy, the bugs are back. The bugs are here, the bugs are here. Oh boy, oh boy, the bugs are here. The bugs are near, the bugs are near. Oh boy, oh boy, the bugs are near. The bugs are here, the bugs are near. Oh boy, oh boy, the bugs are here. Oh boy, oh boy, the bugs are here. Oh boy, oh boy, the bugs be near. They hit you with they fetid toes. They hit you, make you go and throws. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, vacation was good. I had a great time. Um, had a lot of good food. Hang out, hung out with a lot of good people. We recorded the Fallout one shot. Um, we went to the Museum of Illusion, which was sad. Uh, it was, it was definitely a sight to be seen. I would say, I, I would say to anybody, the Museum of Illusion in, in Montreal is definitely a place you can go. Uh, I almost got abducted. That was fun. You know, just as a little bit, somebody jumped out of their car and yelled "Hey!" at me, and then I just kept walking. That was an interesting, uh, an interesting day. I felt like a dummy. A lot of a lot of my time in Montreal, I was feeling like a dumb fuck. Oh yeah, no, I almost got abducted in Montreal. Yeah, I was uh, I was walking back from the gas station back to the hotel that Shelby and I were staying at, and uh, a guy jumped out of his car, yelled "Hey!" at me, like parked near me in this like empty roadway in this industrial park where the hotel is at. Jumped out of his car, pointed at me, and yelled "Hey!" and then I just kept walking. Smithers stone. All right, yes, Master Burns. Let me get you your cool rock collection. Smithers granite. Pumice, mmm, fool's gold, pyrite smithers. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns, uh, I know you love your pyrite. Very yummy, very delicious. Uh, very crunchy and crispy. Smithers, feed me rocks. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns, let me just, uh, let me just eat these rocks and vomit them into your mouth like a baby bird is fed by their mother. Smithers, mmm, hungry. If you were in Winnipeg, they just would have stabbed you? I mean, fair, yeah. That probably would have happened. Surprised, honestly, big city. I love Montreal. I really had a good time there. Um, genuinely, uh, one of my favorite parts is, uh, so it was Mandy, uh, his girlfriend, uh, me and Shelby, we were walking to the Museum of Illusion and we saw the Squirrel Summoner. Uh, I, I haven't talked about the Squirrel Summoner yet. Uh, I'm really very excited to relay the story. There was, um, this park that we passed by and on this bench was an old man, this old man laying down on the bench with a red shirt, kind of like hobo gear, like general, like if you go into an RPG and select hobo as your starting class, that's what he'd be wearing. He was laying on the bench and cackling. Two seagulls were in front of the bench and, and like fighting over a piece of bread. But then around him, surrounding him were three squirrels looking up at him right? And he started cackling like an old-timey prospector, like a <laughs> And the squirrels, when he started cackling, started running around the bench, like encircling him. And Mandy and I were both like transfixed by this man who was making the squirrels do his bidding, right? He was just sitting there going <laughs> while two seagulls fought on, like, in front of him and the squirrels. And we didn't get to see, like, a conclusion or anything. We, he just was having the time of his fucking life. Yeah, so we saw the Great Sage of Montreal. Is probably the most, um, appropriate, uh, appropriate thing I can think of. Right, and your kingdom has come under hard times while you're away. I know. I was gone and people were like, what do we do? We gotta watch other people. Now we've lost all our viewership. I've, I went on vacation and people were like, I forgot this guy exists. Shit. It's like, no, no, please don't forget me already. Sorry, Brendan. I only watch um, Bacon Crease now. He's my favorite guy. You were really funny during your time, Brendan, but it's time to let go. It's time for us to begin again. We have to let you go, Brendan. Chat has to fire me. Yeah, we have to rebuild the town square. We have to talk to Pete. We have to talk to, uh, oh shit, this is fucked. I have no slime. I have no, I have no slime. I have no bitches. I have no slime. All right, get up in there. I have no, I have no Harrell, so I have to fucking kill some of the boys. The boys have to be able to take care of this. I cannot heal in this fight. Oh no, I'm fucked. Oh yeah, no, we are fucked. We're gonna die here. Hate this fucking thing. 
Hate this fucking thing. I'm so fucked. Look at this son of a bitch. Hate this fucking dude. Hate this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, you think you're so fucking great, huh? You think you're so fucking great? Get him, boys! I'm gonna watch over the fucking evil magic. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Where's his hole? Where's his hole? Every boy has a secret hole. There's his hole. We got his hole. Live, Brendan. Live. Live. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Got him. Got him. Yes. First try. Not dead. Every boy has a secret hole. If you attack the enemy in the weak spot, you deal massive damage. It's very important that you do that. It's very fucking important. You gotta be able to... If every enemy has a weak spot that you can hit for massive damage. My weak spot, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not telling you where my weak spot is, but you can find it. And it's it's probably the... You sweep the leg. I'm tall. Them's are the rules. Sweep the leg. I'm tall. That's how it works. Do I have a level up? No way. Remember, sweep the leg when you see Brendan, and it'll make for a funny time. Just go for his fucking legs. Hit him in the knees. Yeah, make sure that you aim your spear point towards my belly button, and then you spin it around. Kind of kind of human blend at me. You gotta blend me. If you want to be able to defeat me, you first have to blend me. If you want to defeat Brendan, you must first blend Brendan. Once I am blended, then you may be able to, 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 to defeat me even further. But first you must blend me. These are the rules. Put me in the fucking blender. See what happens, baby. Render me in 3D in the blender. 3D Brendan. Blendon? Blendon is the name of the fucking time traveler from Gravity Falls. Don't call me Br don't call me Blendon. Don't call me Blendon. That's the guy from Gravity Falls. He's voiced by Justin Roiland. Don't call me that. Ridiculous. Rude is all hell. Have you be Elder Ring before I have? Yeah, of course. Brendan Blender playthrough win. I'm never going to be able to use Blender. I gave up on the donut tutorial. Listen, I used to use AutoCAD back when I was in high school, and I couldn't figure that shit out to the point where I was like, fuck this. I'm going to make a, I'm gonna make my model out of, like, hot glue and cardboard. I'm going to make a physical model. Fuck you. Fuck being able to try to, like, exist in a three-dimensional space. I could never do that. Brendan wanted to start a new character for the DLC. Well, yeah, that and my old character, Piss Man. Um, he was in New Game Plus 1, and I didn't want to have to, like, go through New Game Plus 1 using the anchor... Utilizing my slime all day, every day. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of the, the my, my first character where I already beat Elder Ring was, I really didn't want to have to, like, go through all of that again. Um, just to, like, dubious do something. What I've heard, New Game Plus is really brutal for the DLC. Well, yeah, that's why we start the, we start the new guy. We, we built Mayor Naze. Mayor Naze is having a great time existing, loving life, having a great fucking one. Thinking about Chicken Mac Nuggets, thinking about Chicken Mac Sandwich, thinking about Chicken Mac Burger, thinking about Chicken Mac Poutine. Oh, yeah, there's a hole over here. I never I never excavated this hole. Oh, shit, a rat! Mayor Nays loves supervising Bree ceremonies or Briss ceremonies. I read that his Bree ceremonies in my head, and I was like, he fucking loves cheese. I don't want that kind of cheese. Oh, fuck. This is the funny little motherfucker, ain't it? Ain't this, the, ain't this the prank? Ain't this the prank master? This is the prank master, right? I think this is the prank master. Oh, boys! There's a prank master. I see you, prank master. I see you, prank master. Fuck off, prank master. Boys, take care of him while I deal with the prank master. Fuck off, prank master. I won't fall for your silly pranks. Fuck you, prank master. Go to hell. Love that it's just like a deal with the prank master, Brendan. See what kind of funny foibles you can get up to, Brendan. Be nice to the snail. I fucking refuse. Fuck off, prank master. Nobody even likes you. Nobody wants to hang out with you. Nobody wants to drink Slurpees at the 7-Eleven with you. Fuck you, prank master. Nobody wants to fucking eat uh, 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 like those little biscotti cookies you get on the airplane with you. Fuck you, prank master. Everybody hates your shit, prank master. We're all sick to death of it, dude. Ah, oh, Goblino, I fall for it every time without fail. Without fail every time. It's Goblino this, Goblino that, Goblino cat with Goblino rat. Like, the whole Goblino family is here. Can't wait to have one of their goblin dinners. Famous goblin dinner. Go to the goblin buffet. They got worms. At the goblin buffet. That's gonna be it. They got fucking worms. What else are you gonna find at the goblin buffet? Well, they got worms there. They got tube grubs. I love worms, bro. I love going to the goblin buffet, getting a big bag of worms, letting them boil it in front of me, and then saying, I'd like a medium rare, please. 
medium rare goblin worms, please. Love a little taste, love a little crunch. Uh, but I also want them to be a little raw and meaty on the inside. They got one of those convenience store hot dog rollers there, but it just has grubs and worms. Yeah, like really big, really big worms and leeches in the hot dog roller. I work at Burger King making flavored Whoppers. I wear paper hat. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? No, 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 no. God, I fucking hate that that song's in my head. Scary creatures. Hanging out in the night. Scary creatures. They really want to fight. Scary creatures. Fucking up every day. Scary. Ah! Hoo Elder Ring. Stone Cold don't want no Elder Ring. Stone Cold want an onion ring. Stone Cold go to the Burger King. Order three, three, three. And I count them three, three, three onion rings. You like going to the Burger King and getting only three onion rings? Give me a hell here. Yeah. Not four onion rings, not two onion rings. Stone Cold wants three onion rings. You like going to the goddamn Burger King? Get you three onion rings. Give me a hell here. Yeah. If you like getting socks for Christmas and then putting those socks in milk so they get nice and soggy, you wait for them to get hard and you throw them against the wall, you make a nice thud. Give me a hell here. Yeah. If you like every character in Garden of Ban Ban, Zombo Sauce, Bambolina, Ban Ban, Squid Games, Huggy Wuggy, give me a hell yeah. Not even a hell yeah anymore. It's a, if you like saying hell yeah, give me a hell yeah. If you like going to the convenience store and getting four bottles of milk and then throwing them out in the ground when you leave the convenience store, give me a hell yeah. If you like having deep conversations with the homies, specifically after 2 a.m. in the middle of the Discord or in the middle of the street outside of a convenience store, give me a hell yeah. Poppers? I had poppers when I was in uh, Canada. It, when I wasn't like poppers, the, the ones that like loosen your butthole. They have a hard seltzer in Canada called poppers. And so I was popping pop poppers at a party. And I was like, anybody want to pop some poppers with me? And everybody was like, no, thank you, Brendan. I'm like, it's be it's alcohol. They were like, yeah, it, it tastes awful, Brendan. I had a loose butthole in Canada. I mean, I technically, I kind of did have an experience where I, I talked about this yesterday. Um, where I almost shit my pants in Canada. Uh, we were at this restaurant and I got a really good uh, meal. It was mac and, and mac and cheese and rib. And it was this mac and cheese with pulled pork, ribs, and bacon. And it was a big bowl. Of, I ate the whole thing. I ate the whole thing. I ate the whole thing, mind you. Uh, we had to walk to a board game bar and take the train to this board game bar we were going to go to. And I was like, hell yeah, board game bar. We're going to have fun. Um, Mind you, motherfucker. Mind you. I left the bar. I left the, the, the pub where we ate food at. And it was like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fine. Feel like lemon. Feel like lime. My guts started making unholy noises. Just a... <laughs> monastic. There was a monastery in my tummy. And they were monastic chanting, all right? So while this monastery is monastic chanting, I start sweating. Like, I... We get to a point, like, where there's no bathrooms in sight. I'm not going to run into a bar and just go to the bathroom if I'm not ordering something. So... We got on the train, and every every two minutes, Billy's like, we'll be there in two minutes. Don't worry, Brendan. We'll be there in two minutes. Don't worry, Brendan. Brendan, we'll be there in two minutes. Don't worry, Brendan. 35 minutes of we'll be there in two minutes, Brendan. I'm, like, speed walking when we got out of the train to the bar. Billy is, like, half running to catch up with me. We're just, like, going to the bar. I walk into the bar, say, we have a reservation, and bolt down the stairs in this board game bathroom and literally split a toilet of theirs in half. I have never been so terrified to, like, shit in an unnatural location. Um, I have never been more afraid of shitting my pants in any situation in my life than there. I clenched harder than the walls of Jericho. My ass was like a vice grip on some dubious ceramic. Train did not have a toilet. It wasn't a big train. It was a metro train. Metro trains don't have a toilet. Some may do. I, I've never been on a metro train with a toilet. Some may, but not these ones. And they did not have a bathroom that was open in the subway because apparently they closed the bathrooms really early because, you know, they're like, oh, we don't want homeless people in there. So I did. I Vegeta Gallic gunned the, the entire toilet. I was a rube. I wanted my delicious mac and cheese and I had it. But I, w was it worth the cost? Was it worth the payment? Was it worth the toll that I had to pay? Was it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It was a really good fucking mac and cheese. I did. I, I split the ceramic in half. I, I, my ass was the ass that cracked the world in twain. Truly, my ass was the ass that cracked the world. But I mean, yeah, otherwise, I mean, a lot of my time in Montreal was being like really fucking like, where, where? Because, you know, a dumb American in the middle of the city has no idea about. So 
So a lot, a lot of dumb American moments because I was just like, I don't know what the. I already opened this. A lot of I am stupid and I'm in the middle of a foreign city. Um, and everybody speaks French and I'm just like, hello, do you speak English? No. Ah, cool. Uh, I would like, uh, um, uh, Shelby and I went to a Tim Hortons and the cashier did not speak English. Uh, so we just pointed at the menu and got what we wanted, which was coffee with ba non-alcoholic Baileys in it. And I think about that sometimes where we're just so poo-poo stupid that we were like, um, but hello, I, coffee and donut, please walk up coffee and donut please thank you merci M mercy overwatch mercy overwatch thank you thank you mercy overwatch mercy overwatch thank you thank you mercy mercy uh, bouquet mercy bouquet i'm watching this going 90 down the highway god <laughs> somebody's gonna see you and say brent daniel's so funny makes me want to merge without looking i know it's french canada what did i expect in french canada i didn't expect it to be that french i really i'm gonna be honest I did not, I re, even though I knew that I was going to French Canada, I thought people were kind of making it up. I did not expect it to be that French. It really is that French. It's so French. I talked about this yesterday. Uh, when we were in the airport leaving, uh, when we got into the airport, we were at the airport Starbucks. They asked for my wife's name to put on our drinks, and uh, she said Shelby. Uh, she thinks uh, they thought that she said Chamay. Uh, so they wrote, they wrote shame on my wife's Starbucks cup. They, they fucking wrote shame. S H A M E on my wife's Starbucks cup. We just wanted a little coffee. We did Starbucks was like it, but I guess shame, shame, shame. Cup of shame, shame, shame. You have newfound respect for Billy, given that he's lived amongst the French Canadians for that long. No, I, but I have new, I, I newfound respect for Boo, because uh, I could never be American and then move to French Canada and then try to exist there. I could never be able to do that. Billy, Billy born into it. Billy born into it. I'm not worried about Billy. Billy born into it. Billy understand. But I do have respect for Boo, who was not born into it. it it's it's got to be just a fucking weird mess. It's got to be a weird mess to try to just, like, figure that shit out. Um, but no, Boo, Boo, I have uh, the almost respect for Boo being an American and moving to French Canada. And then, like, living in French Canada. Utmost respect to my friends, because, like... I just, I didn't know. I didn't know it was that French. It was genuinely, it was genuinely more French than I ever thought a place could be. Because I was like, Fred, it was more French than France. It was all wee oui, wee, oui, wee oui, wee, oui, bonjour, bonjour, merci, merci, bonjour, merci, merci beaucoup. And I was just like, oh my fucking God, I should have picked up like a fucking word dictionary. I genuinely didn't think it was going to be that bad. But dumb American traveler, I'm a dumb American traveler, had my dumb American traveler moments. I was so fucking Iowan. There was an Uber driver who scared the fuck out of me in Shelby, though. Um, on our way to go to St. Hubert's, which is like a poutine place. We wanted to try poutine, which, not a big fan. Fuck poutine. I already said this multiple times. I'll say it more. Um, fuck poutine. Poutine fucking blows. But we uh, were in this car uh, with this gentleman, uh, this Uber driver, and we said, oh, yeah, we're from Iowa. And the first city he says is the city I'm from. He says, oh, like Sioux City? And I was like, what the f You shouldn't know that. You shouldn't know that place. You shouldn't know. You shouldn't know where I live. How do you know this? It was this like older, older, bald, older, bald guy. It was like, oh, like Sioux City? It was like, how the fuck do you know Sioux City? Most people are going to say Des Moines or like uh, anywhere else like Davenport, Des Moines, Waterloo, Cedar Rapids. How in the fuck do you know the town I live in? It was us, Brendan. He was a fan. He wasn't a fan. He could smell it on you? Yeah, Sewer City, you could smell the fucking sludge on me. This is fair. Oh, shit. The dog. But yeah, poutine. Poutine, I hate poutine. I talked about it multiple times. Did not like it. I'm not a gravy liker, and I forgot that poutine is literally just gravy, fries, and cheese curds. So it's just a wet, sloppy mess. And if I'm going to have French fries in a wet, sloppy mess environment, I'm going to go chili cheese fries. I want chili cheese fries. If I want a wet, sloppy fry mess, I want chili cheese fries. That's just it. I'm shrimple and simple, and if I want my wet sloppy mess to be a wet sloppy mess, chili cheese fries are the way I go. But I will say, uh, all dressed chips. All dressed chips. I didn't mind the cheese curds. It was the gravy I didn't like. But all dressed chips. Oh my god, Canada. Canada, Canada, Canada. You have to share these with the world. All dressed chips are amazing. You have to share that with the world. It's like salt, pepper, um, but like, but it's a bunch of different seasonings on the chip. They're all dressed. Brendan, you can order them off Amazon. Yeah, but, like, I didn't know that they existed before, and now that I know they existed... I'm talking about, like, in grocery stores, it should be a normal flavor in America. I know I can special order all dressed chips. All right? I'm not dumb. I know about fucking online ordering. I can get maple syrup online, too, but, like, in Canada, it, that should be hitting different. 
Tap it right out of the tree. Hit up the tree, you see. The bark is worse than its bite. But I will tell you, motherfucker. I will I will allow you I will let you know, motherfucker. I will I will I will I will let you fucking know. All dress chips are banging. They are a bop, they are a bang, they are delicious. I can go get it at the Shaw's. Well, I ain't got a Shaw's. All I got is an Ungus Ungus. Get em, get em, get em. Fucking 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 get em, Brendan. Fucking get em, Brendan. Fucking get up in there. Fucking get em. Yeah. Right, that one leaker with the WarioWare bird pe profile picture got exposed for working with a Nintendo of Japan employee to get his information. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I haven't seen that, but I would assume, yeah. I, I mean, eventually, if you are a video game leaker or a leaker of information, inevitably you're going to get found out because they're going to start fucking doing the... We're going to start sending out fake leaks or, like, different kinds of information to see who is leaking. Uh, it's only a matter of time when it comes to, like, leakers uh, for, like, I don't know, wrestling, video game, movies, news, entertainment, everything. Leakers always get found. It is literally just a matter of time. Uh, inevitably, in every industry, it's just a matter of time. If you're leaking information where the leaks just stop or the leaker gets found. Brendan, for only $1959.99, you can buy a 50. I know you can buy a 55-gallon drum of lube off of Amazon.com. I'm not going to do it. I've never done it before, and I never will do it, because why the fuck would I spend $1,500 on something? You think I have $1,500? You silly bitch. You think my fat, wet ass has that much money? I have slime money? <laughs> but he doesn't know how to flip it. Are you talking to me about, like, flipping the big drum of lube? Is that what you're saying? I should fucking buy it and then, like, distribute it in smaller increments? Think about this business plan, Brendan. $2,000 bottle of lube, right? 55 gallon drum you get 10 ounce bottles of the lube and you sell them around your town oh like a lemonade stand like how kids would do a lemonade stand but i have little potion bottles full of lube i set up a little fucking wooden shack out in front of my house and wait for passersby to, to buy my lube potion come on brendan sell lube potion to adults you can have the first triple x-rated lemonade stand brendan think about it maybe call it potion de lube Scrung de lube, my amazing business plan. Buy my gamer slime. You can put it on your fucking hands, make your hands wet. It'll make your controller go faster. Buy my gamer lube to make your hands wet so you can use the controller at a better angle and, and much more fast. My lube stand brings all the freak to the yard and they're like, damn, I'm gaming better with this lube. What's up, y'all? Just got my catalytic converter stolen. Happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday. Catalytic converter Friday once again. Holy shit. That fucking sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Genuinely, people are just pumping those things out of cars so fucking fast. It's crazy. I I am I am always in awe of the people that like just are pumping out catalytic converters and ripping them out of cars. Like, at some point, there's got to be something that can be done. There's got to be. It was an old Honda CRV. It was only a matter of time. Yeah. They should be able to. They should. They should watch the Saw movies and see if somebody's trying to steal a catalytic converter. They should put like a saw trap on that son of a bitch. It encloses around the person trying to steal it, and then they have 30 minutes to play a game. You want to play a game? You want this kind of little converter, or do you want to live? First, you have to beat 1-1 in Mario. That's right, Mario. Then, once you beat 1-1 in Mario, then you have to spell every letter in the alphabet. Then after that, only after that, then one final game awaits. You have to go into this Discord and talk to Valorant players for 30 minutes without wanting to die. The choice is yours. Death. Or do you want to retrieve this catalytic converter? Or do you want to live? I mean, if you want to live, I'll just let you go. To steal this catalytic converter, you have to eat all your green beans. That's right, all your green beans. You can't say no. You can't say you're not hungry. You gotta eat them all. You wanna play my game? You have to pretend to be my parent so I can sign up for a Club Penguin account. The choice is yours. Help me sign up for a Club Penguin account or die. When we got when we when we flew back in the other day um, from Canada, we stopped at IKEA. I had a pizza slice from IKEA's bistro. Pretty good, pretty good. Didn't have the meatballs um, because I didn't want to go up to the actual like meatball uh, area because we only had so much time before like rush hour started in Minneapolis. We wanted to leave, but I had a slice of pizza in the IKEA. Pretty good. Why does this guy do fucking P A S U D O M I N E? Black. Don't I, uh, he's Black. 
the night you came back and decided to stream Borderlands 3 was magical, you just deteriorated in a funny way over the course of two hours. That Borderlands 3 stream is wild because I genuinely just... My brain was working, I was fine, I was full of energy, and then an hour in, I was just like... I could literally feel my brain turning into sludge as I went. I was the big, big. I got a big club, Ed. I'm having a great time. I got the big club. You know me, Ed. I just hit the thing and then I have a great time. Oh, did I ever do Patch's Dungeon? What is, um... Who out there remember what's Patch's Dungeon? I gotta pull up my fucking Elder Ring map. Huge man style. Big man with big club. Do big club man things. Elden Ring map. Yeah, I'm not in DLC yet. I gotta beat Radon and then I gotta go beat Moog. So I haven't, I haven't gotten to the DLC yet. I didn't prep properly because I got so sucked into Borderlands 3. I think you mentioned Borderlands 3 like a couple months ago and it like stuck in my head and then I've been just playing all the Borderlands games and now I'm like back in Elder Ring trying to remember what the fuck was going on. What's the actual war where you slam the weapon to the ground and start running? I don't know. I only use wild strikes and butt stomping, so I'm not sure. I do a lot of butt stomping in this game, realistically. I mean, it's just the way that I like it be. Funny club... Uh, Funny club, funny hit the man, funny butt stomp in. Okay, it was over and around here. We gotta go and find when I just make sure I get Patch's shit taken care of before I forget. I am a bunny, I am a man. I am a creature before I began. I am a man, but before I'm a man. Before I begin my... Oh. There is a larger club, but I hate that one because it has like a specific weapon skill that I don't want to use. Uh, but I will say, this this club pretty good. I think this Patches Hole. Welcome, dear traveler, to Patches Hole. I see. Just wanted to make sure I did Patches Hole before I did anything else. You really drink like this? Yeah, I really drink, yeah, I really drink like this, yeah. Yeah, you know me, you really drink like this, yeah. Where's the boy at? Where's the boy at? What are you doing? What are you up to? Yeah, where's he at? What is he up to? What is he doing? He's chilling, he's chilling, he's chilling. Where's he at? What the hell? Oh, there's nothing here. What the? What could possibly? Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Oh man, a free chips, dude. Awesome. Oh boy, cloth. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, there he is. Bald. 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 Uh, I surrender. Why okay, coward. Bald. Well, Look at his little you. goblin stance. I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. Uh. <laughs> Bald. I can't kill him. Look at how bald he is. He would never survive in a hair-eat-hair -hair world. All right, Patches. All right, you stay frosty, friend. Patches, you stay frosty, all right? I'm just a little guy, and it's my birthday. You couldn't possibly kill me. Could you do that to a little guy? It, he's, he's bald, and it's his birthday. I could never do such a thing. He's bald, and it's his birthday. I'd be so, I'd be so sad if I killed him while he's bald. On his birthday, could never be me. Could never, 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 never be me. It could never be me. I could never do that to a guy. Could never, 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 never be me. Bald and on his birthday, never, 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 never could be me. Oh, I'm quite bald, and it's my birthday. See? He's bald, and it's his birthday. Nobody should be bald on their birthday. You gotta go out and talk to the hair fairy, the hairy. They will get you hair for your birthday. Nobody should have to be bald on their birthday. Everybody should get a free wig for their birthday. A hole. A hole. And hole. And there we are. Brendan's mortal enemy platforming. Me when I look at a Mario game and I have to go stop, stop, stop it, stop, stop, stop. I don't want to think. I Stop, stop. I don't want to think. Stop. I don't want to think about it. Stop. The eve of your birthday, a van rolls up and fits you for a wig. Ah, oh, you need your birthday wig. Well, I mean, you're not going to go and, and and have a birthday without your wig, right? Nobody should be bald on their birthday. Nobody should be bald on their birthday. I think that's a fair and appropriate, like, I think that's fair and appropriate for all. I think we should talk to Congress about this and institute this nationwide. Nobody should be bald for their birthday. If you want to be bald for your birthday, fair, but nobody should have to be bald on their birthday. 
Brendan, do you think they should sell Doritos Cool Ranch powder? When I was in Canada, I had uh, Doritos Cool Ranch flavored Lay's chips. I, I will say, personally, why? I just, Doritos, why, why, like, it, who the fuck wants the flavor of Cool Ranch on something as disgusting as, like, a greasy Lay's chip? And I'm like, I shouldn't be one to judge, I shouldn't judge, right, I should be, I should be a good guy, I shouldn't judge, but I really want to judge, and I, I, I really want to judge, and I really want to judge, why... Cool Ranch flavored Doritos, flavored Lay's, basic chips. Why? I mean, like, out of everything, too, why? Ootses are better? Oots? I never had an Oots chip. What, do you think I'm gonna just have an Oots chip? Just chilling out? Oh, you want an Oots? Yeah, I'd love an Oots. I'd like a Lay's. I'd like an Oots. Where are the boys at? I gotta summon my freaks. The boys, the boys, the boys are here. The boys, the boys, the boys draw near. The boys, the boys, the boys will fight Magma Worm into the night. Oh boy, second Magma Worm. Gee, Billy, how come your mom gives you two Magma Worm boss fights that are almost exactly the same? Gee, mom, I don't know, Eldo Ring. Gee, mom, Eldo Ring is. Hit him in the belly. Get him, boys. Start huffing, boys. Hit him with the poison, boys. Ah, oh, fuck me, I died. And I only died because of bullshit, mind you. Hate this dude. Oh my god, the same boss, but again! And this time in a small arena. This guy actually, I think, is harder than the other Magma Worm, just because it's like, what if we Magma Wormed you in a smaller arena? Incredible, incredible thoughts. But what if we mag what if we wormed you in a smaller place? All right, Goblinos. Go and get him, Goblinos. I'm gonna get my funny- I'm gonna get my funny slime. And then we're gonna kill this guy. Go and get him, Goblins. So look at his funny fucking sword. Pop him the head. This guy thinks he can use his sword. What a fucking bozo. Not even properly trained. Oh, I can't even hit him with the fucking nice hits. Oh my god, my slime. My steez! Oh, not the fucking fire, not the liquid hot magma! There we go, he's dead. Thank you, the boys. Thank you for distracting him. I appreciate you, the boys. Liquid hot magma. Oh, I see. What did I get? The moon veil? I can't use that shit, but it might be cool. It is pretty cool. It's a katana. It's pretty sick. I wasn't dumb as fuck with an ass full of fat. That would be really cool. Unfortunately for me, I'm dumb as fuck with an ass full of fat, so I'm not using it. Cool sword. Yeah, my Elden Ring character is kind of a mix between a badass warrior and a badass samurai. It's pretty awesome. What's your guy? I'm young, got me bung, got me hit with stick. Uh, that's awesome, dude. Anyway, yeah, I've got some 43d3 uh, build knowledge right here. I'm using my skills, utilizing my parries and my dodges. What do you do? I hate the thing until the thing it dies. I kill, I kill, I kill. Uh, that's awesome, dude. That's so freaking cool for you. I'm so happy for you, buddy. Sorry, I'm not a thinking man. If I was a thinking man, I would think my fucking thoughts. But I don't think my fucking thoughts. I don't need to think my fucking thoughts. Eh? What do you think I am, some kind of thinker? Ain't no way I be fucking thinking. Ain't no fucking way, dude. I think about one thing and one thing alone. I think about the, the urge to kill. The menace, the want, the need, the urge to kill. I'm thinking and thinking about nothing else. I'm thinking about murder and thinking about kill. Yeah, I'm kind of building int. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking about building some spells. Thinking about a lot of casting. You know, I have a lot of casting in the brain. You know, I'm thinking about my awesome skills. I'm thinking about doing a lot of cool things. You know. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. But have you heard about hitting the guy until the guy's dead? Oh no, I never do that. Oh no, that's ridiculous. Oh no, I can never do that. Oh. Oh no, I have to use my crystal spells. I have to fire my beam attack. I gotta use the moon. Oh. Or, or, you know, you never caught, you never catch me dead without my spells. Whatever shall I do? Yeah, that's cool, Bozo, but uh, have you ever thought about hitting the guy real good and then not getting hit? Eh? Oh, no, I can never do that. I have to use my, I have to use my intelligence and my faith skills to be able to heal whenever I'm in a, I'm in a position of, uh, of fear. Yeah, that's great, dude, but do you ever think about maybe just kill the guy until the guy is dead? Oh, but I want to hit them with my spells. I want to be able to do crazy wizard magic and silly little tricks or uh, uh, devious little moments. Uh, 
Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, you know, realistically, I would hit the guy really hard until the guy died. Whatever that is, what in the goddamn the arrows, uh, the the hail of arrows? Could you not? Could you chill for a second? Could you chill? Whatever the fuck is doing that? I'm coming up to get you. I'll be there in butter moment, dude. I'll be there in butter moment, dude. I'll be there in butter moment. Whatever the fuck is up there doing that shit with the purple? I'll be there in butter moment, dude. Butter a moment, I'm gonna be there. Butter a moment, dude. I'm gonna be there, dude. Butter a moment. You wait for me. You wait for me. Don't cry for me, but you wait for me. Is that you, motherfucker? With your big fucking bow? Is that you doing the butter moment? Oh, dude, 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 dude. No, no, no. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way, dude. Come here with your big fucking bow. Fall so I can fucking fall on you. Great big fucking bow you got there, buddy. Where'd you get it? The fucking dickhead store? Bet you did. Oh, you guys are big jumpies. I see. Oh, I see big jumpies. If only I could be as jumpy as you. Get him to boys. Get him to boys. Get a big jumpy. Goodbye. Me when I get him to boys. Get out there and get him to boys. Love when the love when the boys get out there and get him. Love it when the boys get out there and get him to boys. Get him to boys. Get him to boys. I bet Brendan didn't get his acceptance letter into wizard college. No, oh, they don't want me inside a wizard college. I fuck it up. I fuck everything up. I go to potion mixing class and I start just making fucking dubious brews, and the dubious brews are literally just like ah, I made White Claw again. Fuck. Wizard White Claw. Uh, I'm fucked up on Wizard White Claw again. That's all I make. That's all I know how to make. Fuck. All my ass knows is make Wizard White Claw, get drunk, summon, all, uh, summon up all my magic jewels and get real drunk. Holy shit, look at that dude just playing with the orbs. I didn't- I forgot that Elden Ring had Fushigi Masters here. He, oh god! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Come on, dude. Come on! That ain't fair. I was watching that guy fucking work his shit. He was just out there playing with the balls, and I was just- I was just having a great time, and then I got fucked up by the big potted goddamn beast. This motherfucker out there throwing big pots of magic at me. Fucking asshole. All right, buddy. Okay, guy. All right, buddy. Okay, friend. Okay, pal. Oh, tarnish. Skibbity my reels. Stop that. Stop! Don't you dare! Tarnished to be wary. Skibbity my reels tarnished, please. Me hunka chunka tarnished. Staff of loss? Me hunka chunka tarnished. Me hunka chunka. Tarnish, please bring me me my me my me me win me win me win me my my slime. Hunga bunga. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Fight the boys. Fight the boys, fight the boys, fight the boys. Fight the boys, don't fight me, fight the boys. Gotcha, one down. There we go, you fighting the boys? Great job, you feel big? You feel big and strong? Fighting my ads? Sorry, fight my ads, dude. You gotta fight wave, wave, my ad, the boys will take care of you. Fight my ads. There we go, see, told you. Summon blade. Is that patches? Summon the boys. Summon the boys, summon the boys, summon the boys, summon the boys. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. Nightmare real, nightmare real. Okay, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's normal, he's normal, he's normal, he's fighting. Okay. Alright, Patches, good. Summon all the boys. Walk the fuck away, walk back, back the fuck up. Horse! Oh my god, he's killing him. He's so fucking huge. Look how big this boy is. He's ripping up the ground. Hit him. There we go. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. I, I, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, bitch. Okay, bitch. Okay, bozo. Okay. Lightning strike! Okay, okay, he's a comet, he's a comet, he's a meteorite, he's a meteorite, he's a meteorite. Where'd he go? Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Fuck me! He hit me. I tried, I tried, I tried. Do a big damage to him. Do a big, do a big damage. Back the fuck up. Hit him from the back. There goes Patches, bye bye Patches. Do your big butt stompies. Right, 
Alright, fuck you, dude. Alright. Uh, I need to fucking... Okay, back the fuck up, back the fuck up. I didn't get hit by that shit. Kill Jester, kill Jester, kill Jester. Hello, big boy! Oh, fuck. Hello, freak, hello, freak. He's got his orbs, he's got his orbs. He's got his orbs, he's got his orbs. Watch out for his fucking wave! Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Fuck his ass up. Make that pussy pop. Make that pussy pop. Make that pussy. Make the pussy pop. Make the pussy pop. Make the pussy. Make the pussy pop. Bye bye, bozo. To try. Damn, did we really do it? Did we make the pussy pop? We did. We did make the pussy pop. Be out here with my large club, Radon, screaming, creaming, a little bit of dreaming. Love my strategy of hit the guy until you hit the guy, and then you hit the guy, and then what if you hit the guy, and then you, what if well, what if you hit the guy? Oh boy, hole is open! Yeah, this shit is just literally the parking lot of a Dollar General, that's what Nokron is. Nokron is the parking lot of a Dollar General after 12 a.m. Look at all these guys. You got any? Hey man, I just do it. You want, you got any? You got any? Oh, bro, bro just got it. You got any? Need to know if you got any? Oh boy, Iron Spear! Yeah, dude, sorry, you got any- You got any- You got any- Yeah, dude, sorry, all out of that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. You gotta leave. Which one's better, Dollar General or Dollar Tree? Um, realistically, both of them are horrible fucking liminal places, but probably Dollar Tree, because Dollar General isn't even really a dollar store and hasn't been for years and years and years. Dollar General is a liar. That's what I don't like about Dollar General, is they pr they pretend to be something else, and they're, they're really, really skeezy. Dollar Tree is really skeezy and doesn't pretend to be anything else other than what it is. Right? Dollar Dollar General tries to pretend to be something else. Dollar Tree, you know what you're getting into with Dollar Tree. You know what the fuck's up, you know what you're getting. Stolen General Valor, Dollar Generals are an evil blight. They show up in small towns and undercut everything and it leaves the- and it all leaves the community. Yeah, pretty much. Dollar Tree is- is just a dollar store. Dollar General is evil. They are like, they are like supremely vile in the way they set up shop in towns and just ruin the local economy. I was like, well, yeah, man, I was gonna go to the local barber shop, but they closed, so now I'm just gonna get some Fago from the Dollar General. Oh, I see. Big drinky, huh? Problem is, they also do a big swing. Oh god, they're utilizing the weapons that I have. Oh no, I should have unequipped some of them. They're throwing crystal darts at me. Oh, but you're one hand in it, bozo. You don't know how to use the club. And you only got one potion. Bye bye. You were worse than I was. You could never be me because I'm already him. You could never be me because I'm already he. He. What if the two? What if the deer stood up and headbutts a rock? What will you do then, Brendan? Then I'm gonna freak the fuck out, dude. If a deer stood up in the middle of the road and then started headbutting a boulder in the middle of the road, that would freak me the fuck out. And then if the deer broke it, I'd be even more freaked out. And if the deer stood on its hind legs and just started running at me, its hands turning into human hands, that'd be fucked up. But that's an Adventure Time bit, so... I would say, unoriginal gimmick. Unoriginal bit. Like, unoriginal, unoriginal. I mean, it's cool and all that you're like an evil deer or whatever, but like, I've seen it before in cartoons, so like, huh, whatever, dude. But if the deer wanted to kiss you, I'd say, get the fuck away from me. I wouldn't want that. Oh, Rat Lord. Oh, fucking... Hey! Hey! Look how handsome. Look at how he looks by the fire. Isn't that beautiful? Would you want to give him a smooch? One out of ten. How likely are you to give mayonnaise a smooch, huh? G kind of guy to have a mustache that'll tickle you. Ten, zero, I see a zero, I see a ten. That's that's not a lot, I'm not gonna lie. How likely are you to kiss this boy? 2.5? Oh my gosh. Maybe a two? Solid seven, that's pretty good. Solid seven is pretty fucking good, not gonna lie. Here is your ancestor fighting the moose. Look at this deer, it is quite obtuse. Jumping and screaming and slamming in air. Hit them with club right in their derriere. Oh! 
Get the fuck over here. I'm gonna pop you one. Well, no, we die. It, uh, tactical death. Tactical death. Tactical deer head. Tactical deer moment. <laughs> Bang. Bang. Oh, fuck the big kick. Love this fight, by the way. This is weirdly one of my favorite fights. I don't know why. It's just so cool. I like fight the big deer. I'm so Iowan right now. Don't walk into there with the boys. The boys, the boys, please, the boys. Get fucked, idiot. I know your tricks. I'm all jonkled up on Joker sauce. Big Bodal! Why did you make Bodal so huge? You can see him blinking now. He's so fucking massive. Two. Three. The boys are dead. Now it's just me. I fucking love this music. Come here. I'm gonna fucking cream ya! Just like corn, baby. Come here. Popped your one, and then I popped your one. Oh, yo, 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 Goodbye, motherfucker. So long, bozo. Welcome to my world. Now I'm gonna eat five Smuckers Uncrustables and tell my wife my stummy hurt. Oh, my tummy. Oh. Ain't nothing gonna break his poise. No one's gonna slow he down. Oh no, he's got to keep on bozo. There he is. Fuck you, bozo. Crucible Knight, you son of a bitch! Look at him fucking staring at me like, hey. He fucking posed! Hate this dude! He fucking, hey. He knows what he did. He knows what he's fucking about. I saw that shit. I saw him fucking pose. I saw his fucking, hello. We're having a great one, are we? Oh, sassy. He's so sassy, the Crucible Knights are. He's so, so fucking sassy. And get my shit back, though. I'm gonna fuck it. I gotta kill you once. I gotta destroy you once. Beautiful light, huh? The wings! Oh god, the fucking... <laughs> I win. That counted. That counted. That counted. Fuck you. That counted. Fuck you. I win. <laughs> oh, dude. Sorry. Man fall down. He got really fucking into it. And then he fucking... <laughs> bye bye, Bozo. Man fall off cliff. I love it when man fall off cliff. I laugh at he. Oh, that fucking killed you. These guys really got... I'm gonna fucking kill you. Energy, don't they? They just really hit you with the, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Out of all the enemies in Elden Ring, I think these guys are like my number one, I'm gonna fucking kill you, buddy, kind of guys. Really not a big fan, not a huge fan of they, but uh, I do think they have a really cool moveset, and I wish if I could be one of them, I'd probably be one of them. I vibe heavily with they, even if they kick my ass consistently. Oh, owie, fucking ouchies, dude. Oh, you're fucking- you- you got boys is the problem, though. You got boys. That's the issue. I don't got boys. I can't have boys here. See? You got boys and you got your big drill! And you got me again. Holy fuck. Not even a moment! Not even a moment! Not even a fucking second! Not an iota of peace! Oh, fuck it, dude. The fucking funny knight with the funny spear. I can never figure him out. And I got his fucking children. No, why are you fucking hooked onto the- You're hooked on phonics! You're hooked on phonics! I will die to this night more than I will die to almost any other boss. Markiplier, my fucking words. I will die to this guy! Oh my god, how do the fuck- How, 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 how do the fuck- How do the fuck- How do the fuck- How do the fuck- How do the How do the fuck- 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 Ah!
Almost. Gotta lock it in again. Gotta lock it in. Hate these dudes. Even when I lock it in, it's always like one little misstep and you're rented asunder. They rent your ass out. You you go from man into apartment building and, and there are a bunch of tenants inside of you and you don't know what to do. You got a garbage chute, you got a rumpus room, like fuck, this man housed me. He housed me. He homed me. Man literally built a foundation on my ass and then built an entire apartment building on top of the foundation inside of my ass. It's fine, though. It's fine. I will die to this guy. I will always die to this guy far more than I die to any bosses. All right, big boy season. Big boy season. Get you one. Get you one. Get you big boy season. Big boy season. Get you one. Get you one. Get you big, big, big boy. Big boy season. A big, big, big boy. Big boy season. All right, top it off. Top it off. Top it off. Watch for him. Watch for him. Hmm. All right, we got him. That's gotta be it. Okay, almost. There we go, we got him. So what, we fight man. So what, we kill a guy. There we go, fucking jeez. I'm just in knock run for funnies. Uh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh fuck. I just remembered. You know when you like, you fight a boss, right? And it, like, you completely forget about that boss until you get to them. And then you fucking member Valiant Gargoyles. I membered. This is gonna be fucked. All right, let's get in here. This is gonna fucking blow. The boys. It's gonna suck ass. All right. Pain ahead. Oh, there's just one. That's crazy. Thank goodness there's only one, right? I think this was my hardest boss in uh, Smelden Ring, the first time I played. Oh, dude, there's only one, right? There's no way there'd be two, right? There's no way they'd poison you too, right? But they do. They have way too crazy a fucking kid. Their whole boss kid is absolutely go fuck yourself, bozo. Oh, yeah, we are fucked. The boys aren't even getting in good hits. Oh, but not the fucking poison, dude. Oh, God. The, yep, didn't even get to the second one. God damn it. I hate gargoyles. This is like the absolute worst boss fight for me every time. Without fail, too. Without fail, this is like my number one worst boss fight in the game. This may actually be like, I mean, DLC aside, because I haven't gotten to the DLC. DLC aside, this may be my least favorite boss fight besides Royal Revenant. Like, just fucking hate Royal Revenant so fucking much. All right, some of the boys. They coming, they coming, they coming. Where's my, where's my slime? There's my slime. I don't even know how you fucking hit me. They hit you from behind is the crazy thing. You have to continually fucking, yep, there it is. Please don't use the poison. And it hits me, of course it does. Okay, big attack. Here comes the number two. Fucking poison. Fucking poison, dude! Every time! It's the one fucking thing that they have! It's the worst thing they have! I don't know why they have to have big poison belches. I- God! Do the gargoyles and gargoyles have big poison belching? God, I fucking hate the big poison belching. I fucking hate it. Unironically, the worst part about this fight for me is the big poison belching. There it is, the big poison belching. Fuck you. And I'm dead again. Always and forever, the big poison belching will be the only reason I die in this fight. It'll be the only times I die in this fight is always going to be the big poison belching. Hate, hate, hate. There are so many different ways that you could be uh, full of hatred for this fight, but the big poison belching is my number one. I can knock out Radon in one go. I can knock out everybody in this game almost in like a couple of goes, but these guys are my fucking nemesis. I fucking missed. And also their skinny little legs. Well, oh, they skipped leg day, but they didn't skip poison day. 
Valley of Gargoyles be like, oh, legs, I'm not working out with my legs, dude. But I will skip my, I will, I will absolutely work out on my poison. My beautiful poison glands, dude. My glandular poison. And I'm hit by it. Oh, no. Fuck you, dude. And you're big fucking, you're big fucking tumpty. Lock it in, Brendan. Lock it in. It's hell. Lock it in. Back up. Back up. There's death. It's two hits. I know. Didn't die to poison that time. Died to the two hits. <laughs> Been a while. I forgot. I forgot what pain was. Watch out. Watch out, worm. Worm. Lock it in, drinky. Okay, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Second one's a coming. Two trucks, two trucks, two trucks to fight. Lock it in, one more hit. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Done. Okay, second one, second one, second one. Lock it in. So what, we get drunk. So what, we get drear. Poison, poison, back the fuck up, 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 back the fuck up. There we go, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. So what, we get slimed, so what, we get timed. Got him, fuck you. Lock it in, suck my gunga. Wee, 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 Hate these fucking bozos. Locked it in. The Gunga Club. Ants, ants, the ants, the ants, the ants, Andy. Ants. Ants. That's me when my body is filled to the brim with ants. I'm full of bug. Hate the ants, 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 hate the ants. Bug World USA, Bug World USA, welcome, welcome, everybody, and welcome to Bug World USA. You can get your bug, you can be a bug thug here at Bug World USA. You can fight your friends, you can fight your friends' bugs here in Bug World USA. You can talk to so many people about the bug poison, about the bug people. You can talk here at the bug steeple because we have the bug church here. You can fight the bug here at Bug World, Bug World USA. You can fight the bug. You can be a bug thug here in Bug World USA. Oh, God. You're alive! How many people be out there fighting ants in their front yard just like this? We love bug. We love bug here in Bug World USA. All the creepy crawlies on all the wallies here in Bug World USA. 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 Yay. Fuck off. Hey. Are, are you? Hey. That's two bug defeated. Two bug out of 10,000 bug defeated. Good bit, Brendan. Oh, I could never be an exterminator. There's, there's far too many bugs for me to handle. The unmitigated power of the bug versus the unmitigated power of the man. I would have bug beef if bugs were that big. Bug steak, bug jerky, bug cheese, bug mac and cheese, bug milk. Oh! No, no, I'm not drinking bug milk. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, do you want me to write you down in uh, for my bug-themed restaurant? I gotta write your name down as coward. Have a bug-themed restaurant, only bug food, but like for the freaks, only a pork chop. Yeah, you can either have a uh, bug, 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 or bug, and uh, maybe a pork chop if you don't want bug, I guess. Like, go to the- it's like going to the Red Lobster and getting a pork chop instead of lobster, which is something I definitely have done before. <laughs> there cannot be any kind of lactose coming from a bug. Okay, then explain bug poison and how they have to milk the scorpion and the spiders. The scorpions more so than spiders. Are scorpions arachnids? Okay, what about poison bug that are not spiders and that, how they have to milk them? You know, people like spicy, right? People love spicy. And capsaicin is a plant poison, right? Because people do like spicy. They do what they do what they do, which is just poison to us. So realistically, you can probably find a bug that has a yummy poison. Scorpions are technically arachnids. It's a whole thing. Oh, God. Bug lecture. Welcome to the bug lecture. And no, I'm not talking about spiders. I, they're not bugs. Shut the fuck up. Wasp. 
honestly, I think as a society, we should start eating bugs. It would solve so many problems. Well, I mean, yeah, look at, um, Cyberpunk, right? In, uh, Cyberpunk, they got all the, uh, they put the bug on the pizza. You can get locust pizza. They, they do a lot with the bug. And also bug protein. Oh my god, look at all the bug on the wall. Uh, I'm not falling for that, Bozos. Um, no, and there is, like, a, an FDA-approved amount of bug in every meat you eat. So, I mean, we do already eat the bug. Like, I, I won't lie to you, we're already out there eating a bunch of bug. Look at all this bug milk right here. Like, to be fair, we are already eating a lot of bug. Oh, bear. Bug and bear. Oh, fuck. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I fucked up. I fucked up. I have fucked up. I fucked up bad, dude. I fucked up bad. I fucked up bad. I fucked up real bad, dude. I fucked up real bad. Oh, uh, no! Not the creature! Miyazaki's fucking horrible little beasts. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I forgot that you fucking- I keep every time I play a fucking From Software game, they gotta put the little freaks in there. The little- <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Get away from me. Fucking belly's round and full of curse. Don't you fucking touch me. Don't you fucking- Don't you fucking touch me, buddy. All the fucking- Get away. Walking the fuck away. Can you be nice? No, fuck you. A lot of- They're everywhere in this fucking game. Game is literally chock full of- Hate it. Hate seeing it. Every day with this shit. I go to the fucking local McDonald's and there's a bunch of them in the ball pit going- They're fucking cursing all the kids who wander into the ball pit with fucking- Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate basilisks. Look at him. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Hate him. I'm out here in the Milky Sea trying to fight a couple of basilisks here. So much. My son, Jyler. God, curse. <laughs> oh no. Brought my son, Jyler, over to the McDonald's play pit full of basilisks and now he's made of stone. I gotta talk to a stonemason to get my son Jyler free. Not Jyler! Anyone but Jyler! Bro, they can't keep doing this to Jyler like this. They can't keep doing this. Jyler is suffering. To be Jyler is to be suffering. My beautiful sons, Jyler, Kyler, and Bryler. All three of my Yylers, all of them fallen. All of them cursed, afflicted with the ball pit disease. Not Jyler! Help me, stonemason! Heir! Heir to the throne, Jyler is stuck betwixt the ball and the pit! He's stone! Don't worry, Mar, I'm offering your son right quick, all right quick. I got a chisel, we'll get him out of there right quick. Fetch me my Jyler, fetch me my stone, fetch me my chisel, fetch me my, fetch me my axe. Lordling Jyler has fallen into the ball pit once again, cursed by basilisks. Anybody but Jyler. Not Jyler, dude. Not- it couldn't happen to Jyler. Just heard- just checked my medieval Facebook. Just found out Lordling Jyler fell into the fucking big smooth pit right after he got out of the ball pit. Such a fucking sad life he lives. The barons are conspiring against Jyler, I can feel it. The barons are all conspiring against Jyler. Lord and heir to the throne. Hey, free Thangus. Oh, oh, how nice. Nice the princess to invite us over to Elden Ring for a funny little stone, eh, Luigi? My bones, Mario. My fucking bones. Don't worry, Luigi. We'll get you fixed right up at the doctor's. My fucking Mario. My fucking bones. They should have in the Mario movie, too. Uh, Mario goes to the, um... Uh, I don't know, Mario Mario goes and gets his prostate checked. I think that I think a lot of people who are out there uh, need to know that by like 35, you gotta get your prostate checked. I think a lot of people should know about this. I think Mario is gonna be really helpful. And uh, for like the age bracket of people who love Mario, I think it I think it'll be really helpful. For Nintendo fans everywhere to be reminded that they need to go get their prostate checked. Mario should do it. Mario goes to urgent care. What do you mean I don't have any insurance? I'm sorry, Mario, but um these forms you filled out last year uh, looks like the uh, they expired. And you didn't you didn't actually subscribe to any healthcare services, so uh, yeah, you don't have insurance right now. What do you mean? What does that mean? Well, uh, today you're gonna have to pay out of pocket for my services, and uh, well, since this is America, not the Mushroom Kingdom, you are gonna be paying a hefty fee. Why? Mario just going. Why? 
Ah! Alright, Mario, you can't, you can't only do anything about this, but, um... I can give you antibiotics, but you're gonna have a hefty bill. Uh, we have some payment plans, but maybe, maybe it'll help you out, but... Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a bit, Mario. You accept the gold coins! Uh, no, Mario, we accept, uh, cold hard cash, I'm so sorry. Mario, we can't do this, we can't keep doing this, we cannot take any more gold coins. I, they just do not transfer over well, and I don't know how to take them out of my wallet. Come on, take my gold coins! Sorry, Mario, I'm so fucking sorry, but we're not anymore, we can't keep doing this. If you're gonna pay, you're gonna have to get a job, you're gonna have to maybe get some insurance with that job, and you're gonna have to- you're gonna have to- you're gonna have to pay Mario in money. Uh, maybe talk to what- uh, we're gonna send bill collectors to your house, Mario, they're gonna break your fucking legs, I'm sorry, dude. Well, why? Sorry, Mario, these gold coins, it's not legal tender, you can't- we don't accept these. So sorry, oh, Mario. Or I'd be like, wah! And I'd be like, wah. Oh, I died. Horse died. Horrible day for me. Okay, hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. Oh my god. Oh my god. The boys, the boys, the boys. The boys, 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 the drill. Fuck. Have a couple of boys. Two boys left. Three boys left. Two boys left. Okay, okay, fuck him up. Slime him up! Oh god, he- one health! One health! Thank you, the boys! Oh, Cousin Leonard, Cousin Leonard, thank you, Cousin Leonard. Oh, beautiful Cousin Leonard. Cousin Leonard really did it. Really, really fucking held on to it this day, Cousin Leonard. I'm so fucking proud of you, Cousin Leonard. Great job to Cousin Leonard, who survived that whole dubious fight. That nasty ordeal. Yeah, so anyway, it's me, uh, Ron- Randy. It's me, Randy. Uh, hey everybody, what's up? My name is Randy. I'm, uh, from Elden Ring. Uh, you can do my ending, and you get a chicken mag nugget, a 20-piece chicken mag nugget. Uh, pretty cool, not gonna lie. I, um, uh, I'm not like Ronnie. I, uh, I just really, really, I just, I just really wanna, I don't know, put a McDonald's at the tree, so... You and me, we can work together. We can put the uh, we can put the McDonald's at the uh, the Erd er tree. Yeah, we call that shit the bird tree. I guess I don't know. Fuck. You 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 come with me. We we can pack a fat lip full of skull and head on down to the Erd tree. You know I. Uh, this hell be. Some people uh, some people don't think I'm the real Randy, uh, but I am Ronnie. I'm Randy. And, uh, I, I do I, I do say we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pack a fat lip full of dip down to the Erd tree. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you.